Before showing a very interesting table about the holy tongue, let us see interesting books about it. So this is a book of Robert Meir Haralik. Very interesting book, The Inner Meaning of the Hebrew Letters. Definitely shows a lot of things there. What is the Hebrew? Then there is another book which I wrote. I wrote many, but I think this is the most important one because just now we understand from the prophecy in Sephania that is it. Hebrew source of languages. In large edition. This is a book which I wrote after seeing Isaac Moses' book showing a lot of words similar, but I tried to explain it in Hebrew. <laughs> Every word has a meaning and it means something through the letters, Gematria, which you don't have in English, but similarities there is. So, two interesting books. Yeah, I don't know if many people know that uh, Robert Aralik, before being a scientist involved with <laughs> image processing, petrochemistry, computer science, but he's involved in water also, you know, what is in the water, not what is in the Torah, but energy of water. You can see his books about water there. Okay, but this is very interesting, a book which I wrote a long time ago, and I got from a recommendation, I gave him a recommendation, and it came out, and you can get the book in Amazon.com or Kindle. My books also are there. So, as I said, Hebrew language is very important, especially now we are entering the week that we have three days of darkness, and our Rebbe tell us which kind of darkness, so definitely the tense of Tevez, <laughs> the beginning of the season of Jerusalem, destruction, then a day of darkness, of translating of the Torah. So our Rebbe said that the fact that the, that the Torah was translated into Greeks is worse than golden calf because when you try to translate the Torah, to translate, you take away all the deep ideas, the insights in the world. Because every letter, I wrote a book about one letter, number six, verb. So you don't have it in English. In English, you have A, B, C. In Hebrew, you have Aleph, and you say Aleph. Already you can write your book on Aleph, because you have Aleph, that means something. Lamed, learning, pay, mouse, it means teaching you that proper learning is when you have your things in the heart and the mouth. Okay, <laughs> in my books you will be able to have a lot of books, but very interesting books, as I said. It's Professor Ralik. We are together a lot here. There is a site, there is a site when a lot of my tables are with it together. It is Toraco.us. One can see into it, and it's very interesting. Also, scientific explanation for the Torah, because the Bible, because if you are accepted it scientifically. So let us see the first thing, very important prophecy of Zephania. Zephania was a prophet, very famous, very interesting prophecies. And even the meaning of Zephania is soften your case, the code of the God. Interesting. So let us see what it says and how it is really applicable to our days and to the Holy Tongue. So this is in chapter 3 and verses 8 and 9. So he says the following, But wait for me. Before it's written, God waited for the Jewish people to return to do tshuva after seeing all these calamities in the world, but Jews did not move, still carry on, Transgressing the Sabbath, and uh, so this is really the verse before, verses before. You can read it before. Then God said, I brought to the world destruction of <laughs> towers. Uh, unbelievable, like everything, uh, tornado, tsunamis. I hope the Jews will take Musaw more from this, which change their ways, keeping the Torah, but unfortunately, they carry on with their sleeping and uh, corrupt. So say, God said, I waited for you, nothing came out, so now wait for me. So bet, but wait for me, says the Lord, for the day when I arise as an accuser, when I decide to gather a nation, to bring kingdom together to pour 
out my indignation on them, all my blazing anger indeed by the fire of my passion of the earth shall be consumed. Frightening. Our rabbis tell us, this is the description of the Gog Magog, fighting wars. No, not far away from this. So amazing, this God said, I waited for you Jews. You see what is going on in the world, thing which is far, not far, far away from being <laughs> usual. Yeah, what we have today is a cyclone. We have before the tornado. We have all these things. <laughs> Long time didn't have something like this. And God said, look, please send you away. Skip Torah. You gentle, keep the seven laws of Noah. Don't keep, <laughs> don't keep it. Don't the out of the almost of salad in a bosom. This is what flatters the world. So seven lots you don't you have to keep in the Jews you have to keep the Shabbos, you know. Not keeping the Torah, remember it was all of us not long ago. So this is a verse. This is a verse in Hebrew, we don't understand, but you can count. <laughs> but what you have in this verse you don't have in any any other book in the Bible, not at all. What is special about this book, verse? You have in it all the letters of the alphabet, like Aleph, Bed, Gimal, Dalet, Avav. Okay, maybe you know alphabet, so try to see. You have the 22 letters of the alphabet, Aleph, Bed, and not only this, you have even the five final. You have in Hebrew finals, like final mem, you have Final pay, you have final mem, you have final calf, you have final noon. All of this come here. So I mean, altogether you have 27 letters of the alphabet. You have 22 regular one. You have seven. We will not find anywhere in other. And this is interesting that the following verse explains to you why. This is a verse afterwards. For then, it means after having Gog and Magog wars fighting the world, then God says, then I will make the people pure of speech. Our Rebbe said a pure, pure of speech, it refers to the Hebrew, it means it's really the meaning because the Hebrew language is pure speech, clear. And also in Hebrew, in the Holy Tongue, it means in the Torah you don't have words for things which are not nice and so on. But this is really pure of which refers to the Shana Kodesh. Also the, the Gematria of Hebrew, Safa Bura in, in the verse, is the same Gematria like the Shana Kodesh. So for then I will make the people pure of speech, so that they all invoke the, the Lord by name and serve him with one accord. Tzvanya, chapter 3, 8, 9. So frightening, you know, <laughs> the word, oh my. By the way, you have here 26 words. <laughs> the name of God, 26. The name of God for mercy and loving kindness. To tell us even the troubles which comes to the world also is merciful. Like a man goes in operation, a difficult operation, but what we do, we have to make the operation. So, unbelievable, a verse with 27 Hebrew letters, and you have more letters, and then you have 26 verses, again, name of God, Yud Kevavke. So, the most important, definitely, they telling us that in future, the people, even we speak Hebrew, right? It was this one, uh, the site, what is the name, the, uh, of uh, University Yale already wanted it. They will study Hebrew and this, and, and he, even he wanted that every student will, will learn Hebrew. Okay, we know the story. Maybe all uh, it was the Hebrew almost was a legal <laughs> language in the state. Yeah, it is all story about this. So maybe it will still come, and maybe it will come. So let us see now this table, unbelievable table. You know, really, I think I think it is really. You need a common center, then you don't need uh, to make a uh, statistic and so on, only common sense that it is still significant. Why? So I tell you, you know, I tell you, uh, yeah, 
dynamic statistic, but you know I use, this is what you see here, the program of Dr. Alexander Rottenberg. Scientists who came from Russia, definitely met Professor Ibs, who came from Russia, and Professor Ibs showed me the phenomena, he showed him the phenomena of the code, the Bible code, he looked into it, researched, he said, yeah, definitely, it is true, it is clear that Torah is from heaven, the Torah is believe from the blueprint of creation. He became Orthodox Jews, keep the Torah, Shabbat service in fully, and he claims that more important than statistics is minimal based meetings. But statistics, you know, you can play with statistics and you can tell also nonsense to make it statistical. Like I brought example, this McKay, you know, who tried to fight against the Torah code, against the, the own wisdom, so he made a table about but Hanukkah candle and so on. And uh, yeah, statistic was nice, but it was not at all the full one. It was not, uh, uh, the words were not written fully. Hashemona Eve is uh, missing two letters, and uh, Hanukkah is one. Well, but whatever, but he made a whole story. It, it looked like early statistic, but nothing in it. So, therefore, Dr. Rottenberg claims that the best thing is minimal best meetings and definitely that all the words are connected, you know. Sometimes like the Christian put one word here, one word, which is not, we have, you need the right exact verse fit with the prophecy, with everything. And this, what you have here, is this is program. Yeah, we did books together, we did with Professor Aralik, but this is his program. So what you have in this table? The first thing, the first condition, minimal. So you have here the Hebrew word Lashon Kodesh, Holy Tongue. This is the way it comes, Lashon Kodesh, only twice in the Torah. This is the minimal. So this is the minimal. Lashon Kodesh. So you have here all this minimal. Fine. Then, if somebody, I don't know if people have time, but watch my YouTube probably clear proofs. And I go to make a a documentary that the codes, those who are busy in the codes, are connected with the son of Joseph. Son of Joseph, yeah, Messiah, son of Joseph. And this was the pupil of the Bilda Gaon says that before the coming of the Messiah, son of Jesse, you will have son of Joseph, the era of son of Joseph, and people who will reveal secrets in the Torah through the letters. It can be Gematria, can be a permutation of letter, Bible code. This is a process which is in there is a book of the pupil of the Vilna Gaon, the, uh, the voice of the turtle, and the turtle dove, Kolato, or whatever. So this is what he says, the son of Joseph directly connected with the Lashon HaKodesh, with the Holy Tongue. So you see here in red, Ben Yosef. I don't know how many times he came down to Ben Yosef, so many times the Torah. <laughs> that means the minimum. Best meeting of Ben Yosef and Lashon HaKodesh. Yeah? Lashon HaKodesh. You think to yourself, this is minimal, and this is minimal. Okay, fine. Then, let's see more. You have here, Messiah. But really, we think about the Messiah. But we have another Messiah, son of Job, son of Jesse. So who comes here? Ben Ishai, son of Jesse. Yeah. Best meeting, I think, at least, and when, okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm laughing because people want to touch on the statistics, statistics, no. Professor Arik now is busy, he's in the water now, so a lot of the, <laughs> he's uh, showing how much in the water, then but he will work that he's doing, that uh, I think he wrote books about it, and so much in water, I'm sure there is a lot also in water of Torah. So, so what you see here, Best meeting, minimal, best meeting with Yosef, you have Messiah, you have son of Jesse, then you have the ill when the research started, was Tavshin Lamedvav, 5736, 1976, and this was at Sofen, the code, in the code, in Hebrew you have Sofen, yeah, you have Sofen and code, both are right, but Sofen is really like Sfania, Sfania, the code of God, so Sofen, started the research and it came known to the world on this year. Tavshin Lamed Vav, definitely quite small skip. Then you have 
another time this they send the that emuna because the purpose of code Bible code means to, to, to strengthen our faith in God. No, Hashem, they are scientists with good midot, with good character, really change their life because of <laughs> so clearly the Torah is to have to keep the Torah, Jews have to keep Shabbos, purity of life, and anything. So you have here emuna, faith, which is the main purpose of course, which also started in Tavshila Medvar, right? So, so often Then, the question, if there are some indication to people who are working on the course. So, so, I, I don't know if that the uh, name of uh, Rob, the Robert Aralik, people know that his Jewish name is Ruben, you have even two names. You have Ruben and Mayor, yeah? Ru- Ruben and Mayor, you know, I wrote a book, what's, what's in a name? I think it's an important book. They're telling us that every name has meaning. Yeah? So here you have Reuven. Reuven is really seeing and understanding. No? He understands a lot, you know, in the science. Meir, really, Meir, he brings lights, yeah? Light, uh, so the courts, etc. <laughs> Meir, but unbelievable. Think to yourself, what can be the chance that Meir, Reuven, come with, the, with the, somebody else who works on the courts? So you come see also, Matityao. Yeah, you know Matityao. And also, a lot of letters, not so simple to find him. So, and Matityao and, and Ruben Mer did a lot of books, you know. I read, uh, this is really a book about Hebrew letters, but he did a lot of books, we did not bring it, but most of the books which I did about about uh, <laughs> different subjects, Tsunami in Bible code, uh, and uh, Rabin Bible code, and uh, many, many other things. And we did together, so, yeah. So this is Ruben Mayer, you know. So, unbelievable. In, not only this is parallel, one should know that parallel is also something. You have Mayer, yeah, parallel, and Ruben Mayer together, yeah. In Matityao, also, <laughs> not simple to find Matityao because they write uh, six letters and so on. So, what we should do is, you know what we should do? You do Tshuva. <laughs> you have to repent. You have to face, to thank your faith in God. And the bottom line is what is written here. Shmor chukava misvatav, keep his statutes and command on mishpatav, lishmoa bekolo, and then v'ashem emircha ayom. This is very interesting. God will lift you up today. It means this is the purpose of this thing, to show the honor of God. Yeah? This is good. To keep the mitzvot and so on. So, as I said, no, I could not find the statistics about this table because uh, Professor Alex told me that he doesn't have the program now, <laughs> he's busy. But I think that without this also having minimal Lashana Kodesh, minimal son of Joseph, bringing them together, to the Mashiach, son of Jesse, and, uh, small skip of the year when the research of the code started, which is a uh, 1976, 736, and twice, strengthen our, our uh, belief in God, and also the sovereign, the connect with this. And then having the names of Ruben Meir Aralik and having uh, Neymar <laughs> together, I think it's, uh, you don't need uh, to, to look for statistics. Maybe not, maybe somebody is able to find him in, in war and peace, but uh, I think that it will be difficult. So, I think very important table, and really, I think the book of Professor Alec really uh, to show that uh, besides science is also other things. I mean, it's also science, but Hebrew language contains so much. All science is all in con- in, uh, in uh, Hebrew language. Did you know what is water in Hebrew? Mime, I'm sure that everyone knows, but I don't know if everyone knows that God created in book of of formation is written that God creator created the water with the letter Mem. This was the letter M in English, it's like a wave of water. Then Yud, Yud is the element with which God did really life, I mean life. It is very interesting. The Zohar says that before life in the world was O, was light. When life came in, so it sent it came into avir, into air. Yeah, air, air, like, in, like in So the letter U is the letter of life. Yeah, the 
היידרג'ן. So, how you write in Hebrew my mem yud mem, yeah? You have mem one side, mem is the answer, the is in the middle. So what you have is hydrogen and hydrogen and oxygen. <laughs> Even the yud is a little bit higher, which is exactly the term. This is a famous water, H2O. So this is exactly what you see in the Hebrew, but you have much, much more in it, definitely. If you want to know more, you have to read my books, from Arabic books, if you see. Very interesting thing, what is really the Hebrew language. And as I said, yeah, this was the Stephania, the prophet says, yeah, about the Hebrew language. It will be recognized. So, Baruch Hashem already recognized it. I think they said, this is for Professor Dr. Isaac Madison says, his books were accepted and did a great change. She is, I think, Professor Shipley, the head of linguists in the New York, I think New York University, he said that we have to change our uh, system of starting to, right? So, interesting and important table, fit with what is going on. A lot of books about the meaning of the Hebrew language, and then you can read a lot of my books, I don't know how many, I think that I have about 30 maybe. <laughs> but you can put, if you look at some books, you can see many books and many, many topics, yeah. From astrology, to music, to Bible code, to Hinduism. Okay, so we try to show the depth and the great insight of the Hebrew language. So, we are now here in the state. Shabbos is coming in a few hours. So, let's have a good Shabbos.